this video, I'm going to be showing you the best defense for for Texas in college football 25. Now, the reason this is the best defense for college for Texas in college football 25 is because it's the most consistent pressure that you can get while still staying in the Texas playbook. So if you're wanting to you do the road to college football 25 playoff, this is a really good defense for that mode. This is 335 Mint. I have a full little breakdown of 335 Mint on our school page, school.com slash Cody Ballard. If you want to sign up for that, that link is going to be down in the description. Now, for my shell here, this is really important to the defense. We're going to put this on a cover zero shell. And one of the secret sauces uh, to the defense is we are going to basically utilize this cover zero shell to keep the linebackers in position to do what we want them to do. And my recommendation when running this blitz is to use this play hot blitz three. Now, the reason we use hot blitz three is because it already has the slot corner blitzing, and he's going to be on a better blitz angle than if we were to hot route him to a blitz. If you really want to use cover three sky, you certainly can. You just have to hot route the slot corner to the blitz. Now, as you can see here, we have this, you know, kind of look from the slot corner. So the key with the defense here is we're going to uh, spread our defensive line. We're going to slant our defensive line inside. We're going to hard flat this guy or whatever zone you want. Just basically put him on whatever zone you want. And then what we're able to do with this is we're able to user this linebacker and we're going to bring him down over the center about right here and we're going to hold left trigger. At the snap of the ball, we're going to try to pull the guard inside just a step. And what you're going to see is we're going to get really good pressure. That was probably the worst possible rep for the first one, but we'll show it to you again and you'll kind of see uh, what I'm talking about here. So we'll just set it up exactly the same and we'll really kind of strafe here. And as you see, see how we're able to get that double-sided pressure with this defense. Super clean, super effective. Now, again, the key with this defense if you want to spread your linebackers, it will it will it will not hurt the blitz. It will only help him come around a little bit cleaner. And you see how we're able to get that slot corner. So feel free to spread the linebackers. So I'm gonna give you a new setup here. Simply spread defensive line, crash defensive line inside or slant inside. And then if you want to spread your linebackers, go for it. Okay. And then you're gonna stand right here, kind of run down at the snap. And as you see, we're getting double pressure. Now the beauty of the double pressure is let's say that they block their running back on a play. So if they block their running back to try to pick up this blitz, what this is going to do by, um, by sending both sides is we're going to be able to oftentimes get it to come in even with the blocked running back. Right there was a little bit inconsistency, but oftentimes that slot corner will loop around. The only reason why the slot corner won't loop around, honestly, it depends on your hover. So you really want to hold this guard. That is like super, super important for the blitz to hold the guard so that he does not... Uh, basically engage here. So you see that's a little bit better and you see the running back goes to the slot corner and that edge pressure comes in super clean. Now, what if they block a tight end? If they block a tight end, it's a lot easier to get this blitz to come in because we're only trying to get it off this left edge. So what you're going to see here is a block tight end that's going to come in clean every single time. So to pick up this blitz, they're going to have to max protect. Now, a little pro tip for you, you don't always have to send this five-man pressure. What if you wanted to maybe say send you know, just basically send it like this. So you're only going to send four. And what you're going to see here is this four man will a lot of times loop around. Right there was just a little bit poor. Didn't quite get the edge, but a lot of times he will. Sometimes you'll get that. Sometimes you will get some inconsistencies with the blitz. That's just kind of par for the course in this game. And a lot of it has to honestly do with your hover. If your hover is good, this is going to be a very good blitz for you. Now, not only is this a good four-man blitz, another way to make this blitz really good is let's say that they're blocking their running back. So another thing that you can do if you want to counter the blocked running back is you can blitz all of the people on one side. So the way we would do this is we would blitz all of our linebackers, and then we would be able to kind of put the slot corner in coverage. Now, if they send the running back out, it's a little bit more difficult to defend him. But as you can see here, against a blocked running back, he'll step to the middle, and you see how this blitz will come in around the edge. Now, the other big advantage to this is by sending it this way. We'll show you something else that's kind of cool. So by sending it this way, and we'll just drop this guy into whatever, with the, with the spread linebackers and this setup where you're sending the, sending the linebacker, if they block their tight end, right, you're still going to get what we got last time. This time we're getting disengage A-gap, which is insane. 
right? You're going to get good pressure if they block their tight end. So what a lot of times will occur here, a lot of times you'll actually, they'll actually be very difficult for them to pick up the blitz altogether because you'll see a lot of times he'll loop through the B-gap. Didn't quite get it there, but a lot of times you will. So this is a way with this defense to potentially only have to send five and basically have an unblockable blitz that's really, really good against the majority of things that you're going to play online. As you see right here, that time I get it against Max Protect, super good pressure. It's my favorite blitz in College Football 25 for the road to football or the road to playoff mode with Texas because you can do so much out of it. If you want to send the double edge and have a little bit more, like if you just man the running back up also real quick, if you just man the running back up, let's see how this does. A lot of times it still comes in. Isn't that crazy? So now let's get really glitchy just for fun because you watched to the end of the video. Now what we're going to do is we're going to man the running back up with the linebacker on the running back side, and then we're going to take the slot corner and we're going to zone him out. So we're only sending four, and we're going to block the running back. And what you're going to see is we kind of didn't get it. Eh, didn't quite come in. But sometimes I'm telling you that will come in. I'll just, just leave that at that. But anyways, uh, this blitz is really good. This defense is really good. There's a lot you can do out of it. I really like this defense. I think you should give it a try if you're playing with Texas and road to football playoff or just in general. I think this is a good blitz, and I think it's one of the best ones for the road to glory or the road to college football 25 playoff. So thanks for watching. If you want to get the full breakdown on this defense, it's in the school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. Link is in the description. $10 gets you access to all of the offensive and defensive ebooks over there for both College Football 25 and for Madden 25, and it consistently updates. So you're always getting new content, updates to old content, making sure that you always have the best versions or whatever you need to be successful in this game. If you want to sign up, the link is in the description.